So you want a water fountain for your back or front yard? Stay with me, I'll show you how to build this DIY. Thought about putting a koi pond in here, I decided not to, and now this is a great location for that water feature. It's a great location for several reasons. One, it's right by the smokehouse, so it'll be visual and audio. The water splashing will be heard from the smokehouse. And I think you'll also be able to benefit from the patio area over here. So let's get to work. So I'm gonna put two coats of this on the two by fours. This is a two-tone project. So uh, the two by six will not be stained, but the two by fours will be. The two by fours will be the inside boards. The two by six will be the outside boards. It's not what you think. talk about the tank for this project here it is I bought it on Amazon uh, I think it was $58 got shipped to uh, FedEx next day I think or two days later I got it it's nothing crazy I think it goes in an RV or a truck of some sort it's a water tank is what it is it already comes with uh, three holes in it that I really don't want uh, but I couldn't find a tank like this with no holes um, and this is the fourth hole but it's got a cap in it so I went to Lowe's and I bought these little plug adapters half inch plugs I think they're like 64 cents a piece and and they fit perfect in there i'll put a little water tape on them and i'll torque them down and these three holes will not be used this one's already plugged and then what i'll do is i'll cut a hole with a jigsaw on the top here about that big almost the entire surface here for the most part and then i'll put a nice piece of fence there and then put some rocks over the top so the water will come from the top of the fountain it'll drop down into the reservoir and then the pump will pump it back to the top of the fountain again now speaking of pump this is what i bought i think it's going to work it's a three foot um ideal pump so i guess pumps go by how high they have to pump up um i guess the flow is actually adjustable so you can adjust the flow but you need to make sure you get the right pump for the right size now this fountain is going to be three foot or less so this is ideal but you could build this fountain a lot bigger if you wanted to it'd be interesting to see someone do it um, but for my application, I don't want it to be overbearing back there. I think it's perfect at three foot, and this pump fits the bill. I took the pump out. Look how small this thing is. I had no idea these little pumps were this small. I used to have a fountain at the old house. Um, I remember it being bigger than that, but uh, it's not anything crazy. Half inch coming out of the top of it. So I bought this little floaty thing that fills my tank up, my reservoir up. So every time my plants get watered back there, if this floaty is low and it needs water, it will allow the water to go in the tank. It'll turn itself off once the floaty gets to a certain level. So my reservoir is always full. The last thing I did buy was I bought this half inch, uh, uh, 20 foot plenty of here, half inch uh, tubing. Um, I'll use this to go from the reservoir tank to the top of the fountain. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use this at the very top. I may switch over to PEX and then drill holes in PEX, just a little bit more firmer, but we'll see when we get there. Let's cut that hole. I'm gonna pre-drill, I'm gonna liquid nail, I'm using the regular deck screws, I'm hoping I don't split the ends of those, um, and then I'll reinforce it all the way around. So uh, I think it'll be fine.
Okay, so here's the basic fountain structure. It's a little higher than it's going to be, obviously. I'm going to put it in the ground about a foot and a half. So it should leave about two and a half feet above ground. So it's gonna be probably below that hibiscus right here. So see what it looks like from over here. Yeah, I think it'll look good from the smokehouse. Oh yeah, I think that looks really good there like that. All right, let's go with it. Uh, I think I got it in. It's about two foot down over here and maybe about 18 inches over on this side because this side's a little higher, obviously. Uh, I have noticed that this plant is kind of in the way, which is not a problem. Uh, I'll move him over to about here and these two daylilies, I'll move over here in front of it. Make sure we get our level here. Very important. Good. Pretty good right there. Man, there was a lot of trial and error on this project, mainly because it was all custom and there was no blueprints for this particular fountain. But as you can see, it turned out really, really good. I'm really happy with it. It gives me the stream of water, the dripping, the noise. It sounds great. It looks great in the area. You stuck around to the end, so you must like these types of videos. If you can, give me a like and subscribe. Also check me out on Facebook and Instagram where you'll see projects like this before I put them on YouTube. Take care. That's a wrap. If you like these types of videos, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. Please share with family and friends. And like I always say, I appreciate you spending time with the Home Pro Heroes.